All right, girls, here's our next instalment for our Fit30 workout for our online program. Um, as always, we're going to talk through your warm up, workout one, workout two, and then we'll provide you some demonstrations. Okay? So for your warm up, we're sticking with the three by 30 seconds. We're working through a glute bridge and we're going to hold that glute bridge up for two seconds. A band here is optional. I'll demonstrate with a band, but if you don't have one, you can still do this exercise. Uh, crab walk as well. This will be banded, but you can do it without. And then a military squat for two seconds. Okay, this is unbanded. All right, so that's the warm up. Again, you'll get some demonstrations in a second. Uh, workout one. So this is all about your lower body. Okay, our focus for this one is actually your single leg Romanian deadlift. So if you have some issues with this one, you can do it double and I'll provide you the alternative in the demonstrations. Then we're gonna jog on the spot. So what we're gonna do is have our body weight exercise for 40 seconds and then our jog on the spot for 20 seconds. Okay, again, back to our body weight with our lunge to knee extension and I'll show you that. And then jog, 20 seconds, fire hydrant, 20 seconds each side, then jog. But we're gonna complete five rounds of this one. So you're looking at about 15 minutes because each little bit should take you about 60 seconds. Okay, remember, go through it, make sure you know exactly what you're doing, check in with the demonstrations that we provide you. Okay, uh, workout two. So we're doing our core galore. So with our core galore, you've got 45 seconds where you're doing the actual exercise and 15 seconds where you're transitioning and resting. Okay, um, plank and ankle taps, something I will show you, Russian twist, hollow holds and supermans, and then repeat. Okay, you're looking at eight minutes for this one, all right, in total. So uh, yeah, I'll provide you some demonstrations and good luck. All right, girls, so we're gonna start your warm up. So here's your demonstration for the glute bridge. Remember what we're looking to do is activate your butt, squeeze your glute, and then lift. Okay, if you're feeling a lot of it in your hamstrings and we haven't used enough butt, when you're up here, you're gonna hold for two and then come on back down. Okay, touch the ground just so, squeeze back up again. You've got the band on, so you can squeeze out. If you don't have the band on, you can still do this exercise. If you need to make it harder, you can put one leg out and squeeze up, come on back down and swap. Okay, and keep doing that for 30 seconds. So that's your glute bridge. Then you'll come up into crab walk. So with your crab walk, it's really important that you do get down to depth. Okay, you don't wanna do these little ones. You wanna get down, open, close, open, close don't let your knee cave okay we don't want this to happen you've got a firm stance open close open close then go the other way okay 15 seconds in one direction 15 seconds in the other that's your 30 seconds then you've got your military squat so set yourself up hands behind your head squat deep hold one two drive up things that we don't want to see is that don't want to see you collapse. Don't also want to see your knees come in like this. Okay, firm stance, feet under your hips, looking forward, hands at your ears, squat, one, two, drive up. Do it again, 30 seconds. Ready. Okay girls, so you've done your warm up. Now we're into workout one and we're working on your lower body, okay? We're gonna start with your single leg Romanian and as I said before, if this is really difficult, start with doubles, okay? The best thing about the Romanian is you've got a soft knee, okay, not locked out, soft knee, and you're doing a hip hinge and pushing your bum back. You should feel a pull in your hamstrings. Now, when we're doing our singles, you can do this with weight, and you can hold that in the opposite hand to the leg that's moving, okay? So, hand out to counterbalance. Come on down, okay? Drive on up. If you need to stabilize yourself, that's fine, or you can continue, all right? But with this one, what you don't want to see is this kind of rotation where all of a sudden my pelvis is this way, not facing forward, not coming down to the ground. So again, you're coming down, straight down, drive on up. We're going to go 20 seconds on one side and then swap 20 seconds on the other. You may not get very many and it may be a balancing thing, but it's a good thing to get to learn. Um, it will give you unilateral work, so working each individual side. Once you've done your 40 seconds of that, you then jog on the spot, you've got 20 seconds of that. Then we're going into your lunge and knee extension. So with your lunge and knee extension, you're lunging down, coming up, swap. Lunge down, come up. If you're concerned about balance or coordination, you can focus on one leg for 20 seconds and then the other leg for 20 seconds so that you don't have to swap each time, okay? So again, lunge, up, lunge, 
jog on the spot. Then you're into your fire hydrants. So fire hydrants, you're in your all four position and you're squeezing up, okay? Squeezing up. We're going 20 seconds. Things we don't wanna see is squeezing forward, okay? You shouldn't come up to your elbow and also arching your whole body. You, your face, your chest should stay here, looking at the ground and you come up, not your whole body. Again, once you've done that, change sides, squeeze up, okay? Squeeze up. Once you've done that, jog on the spot. Go through, do it five times. Good luck. All right, girls, so you've done your warm-up workout one, now we're into workout two, and this is core galore, okay? So with your core galore, we're gonna start with a plank and ankle tap. If you find that the ankle part of it is a bit too high, just hold your plank for 45 seconds, okay? How does it look? You're in this position, come back and touch, okay? I always come back to the plank and touch. Back to the plank and touch, okay? You're really working on that touch and then coming back into your plank. So make sure that you've got your butt nice and tight. If you find you're in a plank and you're doing this, then you're not activating your glutes and you're not activating your lower abdominals enough. You also don't wanna be like that. Okay, again, lower abdominals, lock it in. Squeeze nice and tight and hold your pelvis secure. Before you do the pike or the reach down to the ankles, make sure you've got the plank down pat. Okay. 15 seconds to transition into your Russian twist. So with your Russian twist, you can keep your feet on the ground. Make sure that you've got a nice straight back and you're turning, okay? You're trying to get as much rotation out of your Russian twist as possible. I don't want you to back here and just doing that. Okay, we want big twist, big twist. If you want to make it harder, pop your feet up. If you want to make it easier, pop them down. But the twist remains the same. 45 seconds, 15 seconds to change. Your next one is your hollow hold. So don't underestimate this one. It's quite horrible. So with your hollow hold, you're out like this and you're squeezing up. Hold that for 45 seconds. If you need to come down for a little bit, that's fine. Just set yourself back up again and go back up, okay? Once you've done your hollow holds for 45 seconds, you're then onto your belly where you'll do your supermans. Now, your supermans, you're trying to get a big squeeze off your legs and a big squeeze off your chest, so you've got a nice C-shape here. You can have your hands out to make it harder. Bring them closer to make it easier. It's up to you. You can also do the flying supermans, um, it's up to you. You can play with it. Just pick something that's going to be challenging for you. And again, like with the hollow holds, if you feel like you've lost that maximum squeeze, just come down, have a little rest, go back up, finish the remainder of your time. Good luck, girls. Have fun.